Hi, I'm Bryony and I'm here at this beautiful farm in Bodfari, North Wales to welcome you to the first ever CSJ Sheepdog Trials Away With Dogs. But don't look at me, take a look at this amazing countryside, but best of all, these gorgeous dogs. The line is above the fetch gates. Hey! Light down! Light down! As a farmer's daughter, I love sheepdogs, especially ones like these who've worked all of their lives. And it's right here in Bulch Isaf, in the stunning Cluidian hills of Denbyshire, where some of the country's top sheepdog handlers have come to compete to become the first Away With Dogs champion. And if you take a look at the hill up here, on a clear day, in one direction, you can see over the Vale of Cluid to the hills of Snowdonia. And it's here that the famous one man and his dog champions, Gellan Bracken, were trained by the late H. Glyn Jones. So, we have the ideal setting for our nine handlers today, each competing for one of the three places in the double gather course final. More about that later. With me is Mike Northwood. Hi, Mike. Hi, Brani. Now, you're a very experienced trialist and a respected judge here in the UK. How do you think the contestants are going to get on today? I think they're going to find it very, very tricky because it is a course that's going to really test them. I mean, I've come from Northumberland where we're on big flat fields, um, massive expanse. Our dogs have plenty of time to, to get in gear and get behind the sheep. On this course here, you're going to have to see some tremendous handling and some very good dogs to manoeuvre them around here. Mm. Well, we do have nine of the top sheepdog handlers in the UK. What do you think it is about this course that they're going to find most challenging? The most challenging thing is going through that gate and doing the outrun because no dog will go clean. It'll have to have a whistle to kick it which, which way on the outrun it's got to go. So that will be the tricky bit and going out of sight to lift the sheep so the handler will not know where the dog's going to pop up mm -hmm. behind them. So that's when the excitement starts. I've heard you've had the honour of being the English judge at this year's International Supreme Championships, where today's judge, Alid Owen, won. Is that true? Yes, that's true. I mean, Alid came on last man of the day after three days, put up a superb run. He's won the uh, Supreme Championship for the four times with four different dogs. And wow. he's been world champion twice. There's not a man to touch him that's, that's still alive. Fantastic. So we've really got the best man for the job You've here today. You've got the best man for the job, yes. Do you think he's going to be quite a harsh judge on our competitors? Yes, he's got. He's, because he trials against these people on a, on a weekend basis, he knows their dogs inside and out, so he's really going to go for them. The whole thing about the trialling is there's points to be lost. His pencil will be taking them off all the way through. OK, right, so uh, the course itself, um, you stand by this post, uh, send the dog down through the gate to the left. There's plenty of room behind the sheep, and you can see the post, the sheep will be set by the post there. So lift through the fetch to this uh, post in front of us here, and you turn the sheep around the post, keep to the right of the post, and around, back through into the field, and through the drive gates, cross drive, the line is above the fetch gates. Back again, you, you bring the sheep to the right of the post again, and then you can proceed to the pen. So, here are our nine handlers who will compete for the first Away With Dogs title. A draw's already been made and the first three to run will be Gethin Jones with Fran, Gwynvor Owen with Ben and John Griffith with Sam. So, we've got our first three handlers today. Let's go to the draw to see which order they'll run in. Would you like to go first? Uh. So, Gethin, I can tell from your reaction, have you drawn the first ball of today? Yes. And how do you feel about that? A little bit disappointed. I'd have preferred to have seen a run on the course before, before I had to go myself, really. OK, well, best of luck today. I'm sure you'll do fine. Who drew the second ball? I drew the second ball. And how do you feel about going second? Well, it's better than going first, <laughs> especially on a tricky course like this. But, uh, OK. You know. John, you'll be running third today. Are you pleased with I that? I will be. Are you happy with going oh, yeah. last? Oh, I am. I am very happy about that. Good. 
Here we go, drawn first to run in the competition, Gethin Jones with his five-year-old bitch Fran. Gethin comes from a very well-known trialling family in North Wales and started competing when he was just 12 years old. He's already achieved great success in the trialling world, including being in the Wales team three times, each time qualifying to run in the final at the International Supreme Championships. So, it's over to you, Mike, for the trial commentary. Thank you, Brani. First to the post is uh, Gethin Jones with his five-year-old Fran. The dog has to go to the left-hand side of the sheep. One turnout whistle there nicely. The hill will naturally throw the dog out. So he's in the lap of the gods now. Calling her in. And there she arrives, nice and quietly, at the back of the sheep. It is essential that he brings the sheep quietly to the first obstacle. He's the first on the course, so he doesn't know how they're going to react. That's a lovely line through the first fetch gates. Keeping Fran in control. He's now going to bring them through the gate. And he needs to turn quickly in front of the post. Asking Fran now. Very well done, very well done. Turns round the post, and now he starts his drive. Only three points lost on the fetch. Taking them nice and slowly, hoping the sheep won't bolt. They do pick up a bit of speed, but Fran's so responsive. She's there at the first command. The sheep are very light, but Fran's working well here. Through the drive gate, now he's asking for a tight turn. We need to see the sides of the sheep here on the cross drive. He wants to be the top side of the fetch obstacles to be on the correct line. Turn. Just stopped, but Fran gently moving them on. Slightly high here. He'll have to bring them back down the field to hit the cross drive gates. This is looking good. Being the first on the course, he's the guinea pig for everybody else. Get him in the neck of the hurdles. Beautifully done. Tight turn here, needs a tight turn so the sheep don't get near the hedge. He's going to gentle them down here. He knows they pick up speed as they come through the gate. So he's keeping Fran at a good distance. Quick whistle to turn them again. Very well done, yet again. Gethin and Fran are a great partnership. Only eight points dropped on that driving. 
The pen is in the next field. And the sheep have bolted. There's no rope on this gate, so the handler can move about to, to help the dog. Gethin is a great reader of sheep. And they're going to work as a team here. Gently bringing the sheep to the neck of the pen. There's an open gate at the end of the pen to make it easy to go in. That's a great pen. Three points drop for going the wrong side, but... Um, well done, Gethin. Wow, Gethin has set a really high standard for our next competitor, Gwynvor Owen, with his dog Ben to beat. Now, Gwynvor's an experienced handler, having been in the Wales team five times, and he's won over 60 open trials. So we all know he's definitely going to be trying hard today. Second to the post is uh, Gwynvor Owen, ex-school teacher, great rugby player, with his three-year-old Ben. One turnout whistle there just to make sure. Ben's the son of his famous sack, red and white sack. Another encouraging whistle for Ben. Right behind his sheep. Just hit them a little hard there. That's where the judge is taking five points off. And he's just reminding Ben now to behave himself. Gwynfer commanding in Welsh. Ben is a pushy dog, so he needs reminding who's in control. Nice line through the centre of the gates. And he wants to bring them as straight as possible to the post in the small field. The judge will be taking points off every time he moves off that line. Samana means take your time, steady. Gwynferl has seen how these sheep bolt, so he's bringing them nice and steady. Now the right-hand flank as quick as he can to turn in front of the post. Is he going to do it? Oh, no. Ten points drop on the fetch. Turn them round the post now and start the drive. Beautiful looking dog, Ben. Keeping them nice and gentle. Picking up speed, but he's recovered. Dog's very responsive. A few bends here in the, in the drive. And now he's got them back under control. Dog is on the right side of the sheep now for a real tight turn. Good. Calling him in so he doesn't disappear in the bracken. Right, 
side is rather high here so he's going to have to bring them back down on line a few points will be going Quite high here, so we'll see the heads of the sheep. So the judge will be taking points off here. We really need to see the size, but he's bringing them back online. Looking good now to hit the gap right in the middle. Lovely. Come on, Ben, take the flank. Tight turn we want. And a nice gentle return now he's back to his English steady now try to keep them at walking pace come through the gate and try and turn in on the far side of the post before proceeding to the pen Has he done it? Great. Well done, Gwynfer. Only seven points dropped on the drive. He's going to try and slow the sheep down. He saw how they bolted with Gethin into the other field, but I don't think uh, one man can stop three sheep. He needs Ben's help. Gently walking backwards. Hoping they won't bolt. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they've gone. But Ben's quick enough to catch them. Bring them round the far side of the pen. Ben's got great power, so he can work them from a distance. Wimph has got them in the neck of the pen. Oh, they've bolted past him. They didn't see the opening, so they'll retry. If you can get the first sheep to look in the pen, normally the other two will follow. One looks in. Is he going to do it? Yes. There goes the pen. Great pen. Seven points dropped. Well done, Gwynfer. Gwynfer and Ben drop a total of 30 points, taking them into second place. Drawn last to run today is John Griffith with his dog, Sam. JR, as he's known, needs no introduction in the trialling world. He has won over 200 open trials and is a master at running two dogs together, winning the International Brace Championships six times. JR is a very experienced handler, but let's see how he manages this tricky course. JR sets some off. A little throw out whistle there to keep him well out. And he disappears through the bracken. JR giving him a get up command. Oh, it's brought the dog back, unfortunately. This can happen to the best of us. 
He's giving the dog a walk-on whistle now to get his bearings. And then the flank to get him round the back of the sheep. There he is. 15 points dropped, which is um, a fair score. Gentle lift. And now Sam's back under control. We're looking for a nice, slow walking pace and a straight line down to the gate again. Few little check whistles there just to keep him walking slowly. Shut up. Calling Sam up now to try and get this tight turn. Sam, Sam, Come on, Sam. 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 Through the gate and the right hand command. Didn't quite make it. Ten points dropped on the fetch there. He'll put Sam to the left now. Come on, Sam. Sam for me has gone the wrong side there. He should have uh, carried on round. Now he's going to try and undo the clock because he went the wrong way round the post. This is the correct method to do it. And now he's starting his drive. Nice straight drive, trying to hit the centre of the obstacles. Through the obstacle nicely and going for a tight turn. Trying to gain some points back now. John bringing his experience to the fore now. Trying to keep them very close to these fetch hurdles. Just going offline slightly here. Back onto line now. John has been a very, very successful brace handler, as well as a singles exponent. That's nice, single file. Oh, he's just pushed them on the top side of that obstacle. Doesn't want to come back through again. Gives him a right hand flank to put them back behind the hurdle. And now going for a tight turn. Keeping a steady pace because he knows he's got to turn in front of this wooden post. And he's done that well. Twelve points dropped there on the drive, mainly for being offline and missing the cross drive obstacle. John going to use all his experience now to try and pen these sheep. They've beaten him past the pen. Nice gentle handling by John. 
Oh. Regrouping again. But once sheep have been round a pen, they know there's a gap either side. And then they start to come a bit, a bit cheeky. John got them in a good position now. Nice and gently, John. Nine points dropped. A total of 48 points dropped there on the run. Let's look at the final scores from today's trial. The highest score is Gethin Jones with Fran dropping only 20 points. 10 points behind in second place is Gwynfor Owen with Ben and third, J.R. Griffith with Sam. Remember, it's the three highest scores from all nine handlers that make the final. It's been a great ending to a truly interesting first day. We've seen sheepdog trialling at its best and there's more to come in the final from our next competitors. So join us in day two in a sport where you really do have to have a way with dogs. See you then.